Good morning lovelies and welcome to another video. It's Saturday and so this is my let me show you how Saturday live video. Uh, for those of you who are watching live feel free to like, give me some love hearts, let me know that you can hear me. For those of you who are watching on the replay well you can do the same um, but also hashtag replay that would be great just to let me know that you saw this video. Uh, I do apologize if I Get, if it gets a bit noisy in the background, Darren's whipper snipping, and I'm hoping that he's finished around the garage, but he may not be. Let's just wait and see. If you've got any questions during the video, feel free to post. Uh, I may or may not see them. It just depends. But let's get into it. All right. So today what I'm going to be showing you is this card here. Now, I've done a couple of different ones. Jackie Pake is actually the inspiration for this. She showed us how to do this type of card in some videos uh, in some, sorry, in some training, I can hear Darren on his way back with the whippersnipper. Ah, so this size card, and it's got a pocket here at the front, and it's also got a pocket inside as well. So you can pop cards and what have you in there, and you can decorate it however you like. You can write on the cards, or you can write here, depending on the paper that you've got. So this is the size that Jackie originally showed, and she has done this at four and a quarter by four and a quarter. That is because the Close to My Heart cards and envelopes that we've got, the cards are four and a quarter by five and a half when they're folded. So the envelopes that we have, ta-da, fit a card that is four and a quarter. This is four and a quarter. So this will fit in an envelope like so. Isn't that awesome? But Charlotte is, I don't know what you want to call me, OCD or something, and I don't like putting a card in an envelope with flimsy bits. So I had to make one slightly different. I had to make one big enough, and isn't this just gorgeous? By the way, this one, um, this stamp set, it's the Card Making Workshop Kit, has come up on the website again for sale. So that's my pitch for today. Uh, so this one does fit, I've got some 3D foam tape on here, does fit in the envelope really nicely. This one ends up as a four and a quarter by five and a half yes that's the size four and a quarter by five and a half so I did the same with some cardstock just to show you that you can do it with cardstock this is the cake day card making workshop kit that's the sweet as honey cake card making workshop kit well that's from this one look check this out how awesome is this um, you know what gets better with age and then you pull here and it says you how cool is that that's so cool all right so that I just did one to show that you can also do this using cardstock and it comes up really nicely all right let me show you how we make these so I'm just going to pop them I might just put them off to the side so I've got um, the two different sizes that you need the first one is eight and a half inches you probably can't see that eight and a half inches by 11 inches so it's this one's a rectangle if you want to make this type it's a rectangle so you need eight and a half by 11 inches all you need to do is fold it in half now depending on which way you fold it will determine what shows on the outside I'm actually going to fold this one different to this one just to show you so I'm folding it with the hexagons on the inside this time so you fold it now you need to fold it again this way but what I like to do is just kind of um, press my finger along and do that I don't know how to describe that in words obviously it's not my word day today just to make it easier to bend over now you can always get your scoring blade and blah 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 out if you want to but I ain't doing that I'm doing it like this so we've just taken that piece and we folded it in half and then turned it and folded it in a quarter and there you have it. Now you want the folded bits to be at the side, the left hand side and at the bottom and then what you're going to do is, so you've got one, two, three, four and all you're going to do is fold this one down like so. Like this. And then open it up and do the same on the inside so we just want one folded down 
into the middle like so and then realistically you could use any adhesive that you like but just because I like to use this one to make sure that it sticks really really nicely what I'm going to do is stick it down with my red tape I'm going to use my non-stick scissors so that it doesn't get all sticky and I'm just going to put a little bit of tape up into the corner so we go one two hope you're all having a lovely day it's beautiful weather here where I am at the moment which is in Clinton I know that I have people watching from all over Australia which is just fantastic oh, get off me all right, so I'm just going to stick that down like that and I also need to put a little piece in here to keep that stuck down as well so when I open this up you'll notice that I've got a fold here I've got a piece here and I've also got a piece here so those two pieces need to be stuck down um, that's what's different between this particular size card that may be too big yes I think that's too big okay I'm going to use that on this that's what happens when I talk and work that's the difference between this size card and the square one, which I will also demonstrate, is that you do have a little bit you need to stick down, but not that big. Okay, so try again. A little bit of red tape here. I'm cutting through red tape and it feels good. Okay, a little bit of red tape there. It's very static, this red tape, I have noticed. Okay, that is done. I'm just going to fold that over and that will then seal those two bits. Put another bit of red tape on this corner to hold that down. You can do some fancy folds even. I'd love for you girls to have a go at home and then post how you went. Um, I've just thought you could actually do some fancy folds. I'm just trying to get this... So this tape likes to stick to me. That's what that sound effect was before. All right. So that's just me sticking it to the outside. Then you do need to go back and burnish that because it tends to just be a little bit um, bumpy once you've stuck it down. And I'll open it up. And there you have it, a card. And all you need to do is decorate it how you want. As you can see with this one, I had the bees on the outside and then this on sort of the bottom bit whereas I've changed it up and I've done it this way with the close to my heart papers at least you also get a zip strip so this was the zip strip that comes along the top and it tells you all about the paper suite so this was the suite of sweet as honey as a consultant I can actually buy it in bulk why are you not focusing or is that my eyes not focusing sweet as honey and then it tells you the featured colors oh, almost focused which is really great. It helps with trying to match up colors and everything. And what you can do, I'll just show you this. So I've just got my adhesive and I'll cut it first. We can just stick it along here. Cut that off. Just to give it a little bit of color on that inside bit. Why wouldn't it finish right now? That's why I have two. Clickety, clickety, click. All the way to the end. Line it up. So that's actually on the underneath bit. And there's your pocket there. Trim these bits off. Just with a pair of scissors. Again, I love my non-stick scissors because that did have adhesive on the back and my non-stick scissors are just going to cut straight through. So there we go. Just a bit of a decoration. Now what I've done for this one, keep in mind it's four and a quarter by five and a half, the finished size. These mats, so I've chosen to do three mats. So the first mat, I'm just going to measure that. The first mat is three and a half and then we go down to three and then we go down to, no, sorry, three and a quarter and then three and I will stamp and decorate them first and then stick them to the front on the inside I'll just cut a piece of um, paper 
and I can pop that inside like I did with this one. So there you go. That is the full card sized foldy card. I'm going to call that a foldy card. Now let me just show you the square foldy card. So the square foldy card, this time I'm going to show you with cardstock. It's a little bit different just because, well, it's not really, but just because it's thicker paper. Cardstock obviously is a heavier paper. So I'm going to fold that in half. Now this time I'm folding the dark side or the true color to the inside because I want that showing on the outside. This one is especially for you, Karen, because I know you love red. Okay, now notice that I did burnish that. And again, I'm just going to stretch that paper by rolling it under my finger. That will make it easier for me then to fold here. As I mentioned before, you could always just um, grab your scoring tool and score it, but it's supposed to be a really quick, easy card. So that's what I'm aiming for. Burnish all of these bits. And then make sure you've got the foldy bits down the bottom, foldy bit at the side. Take your first layer and fold that down. Hi Pauline, yes, this will be on replay. Absolutely, I will pop this back up. So then we burnish this one. Open up. Fold that down as well. And I probably didn't give you the measurements for this one. Measurements for this one are eight and a half by eight and a half. That will render you a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. Now I wanted to show you this. I'm here and it's not really folding into that corner very nicely. Again, you could go and score it or you can just grab either scissors or some sort of sharp um, implement and just hold it into the corner and then fold it over the top. The same thing is happening down here. It doesn't want to fold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold that over the corner and fold it, and that should give me my nice corners. Should. Should being the operative word. All right, here we go. There we go. So let's fold that up. Now, this is the second time I've done the squarey. It was the third time I've done the other one. What I do suggest is for your first and even your second attempt, just grab some scrap paper and try it with that. Don't grab your printer paper because it's a lot thinner. You won't get the same feel. But just grab some scrap paper and have a go. If it works, awesome. You've got a really cool, cute card. If it doesn't work, that's okay because you just use scrap paper. So again, what I'm going to do is just stick this down with my red tape so that it's nice and secure. Good thing about the red tape is it's thick enough to actually feel where the end of the tape is. So we'll just put some on there and some on here. Now, again, ladies, there is a little competition for those of you who post a picture of your creation. So I'll draw that again next Saturday. I haven't actually gone back through and looked at what you did from last Saturday so I'll have to do that after I finish the video and I will do another quick video with a prize draw. I've already picked what I'm going to give so that's a good thing but I'll have a look through and I will pick a winner. That sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, so a couple of bits of this and I've also got a preview of the card that I'm doing next Saturday. Again, something that we've been shown in um, in some consultant training that we're doing. Okay, so pick this off. And it's a really, really gorgeous card. It stretched me a little bit, took me out of my comfort zone. But I'm learning not to be a pest, 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 no. Perfectionist, that's the word I'm looking for. Learning not to be a perfectionist, believe it or not. Um, I prefer just to get things done and in getting things done I'm getting lots of things done so I encourage you to do the same so there is your card with cardstock the great thing about close to my heart cardstock is that it is two-toned so this is the back and that's the front you can decorate the front of this however you like 
I've got a little bit of decorating to do, but I've also got this gorgeous guy that I um, that I actually prepared earlier. Now you can see that I haven't done this square, so you don't have to have a square on the front like I did with this one, and I did with this one. It doesn't have to be square. It can always be rectangular, whatever fits your little sentiment. So I'm going to pop this on the front at another time. I just thought I'd show you that. Um, that's an old stamp of the month. Pop that on the front, decorate it a little bit more, pop a note in inside, and that will be a gifty for somebody. All right, so coming up next Saturday, I'm going to show you how to make this card. Isn't she a beauty? This one uses, um, it uses blankety blank, 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 distress oxide inks to make this. It uses um, white pigment ink. That's where I was really stretched. Comfortable with Distress Oxide inks. In fact, I love them. But the white pigment ink, I wasn't so sure about. So if you want to join me next week and you've got Distress Oxide inks, awesome. You'll need them, three colors, and you'll also need your applicators. You'll need some pigment ink. White works really well on the craft. So the other thing was... The difference between using the pigment ink on craft and the, the yeah, sorry, the white pigment ink on the craft and the distress oxide inks on craft. Now, if you don't have craft paper, this is a little bit of a giveaway. I have got some craft paper somewhere. I think it's over there, actually. I've got some craft paper to send out in some cards as some happy mail. So if you would like some craft paper to play with, let me know, okay? I'm going to put a post up. Don't say in the video. I'm going to put a post up seeing if anybody wants some craft paper to be sent out with Happy Mail. Wait for that. And if you do, then let me know and I'll send out some Happy Mail. Okay, I think that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed another session of, I should call this Sing Along Saturday with Charlotte. <laughs> I actually Googled that song. <clears throat> but anyway, making foldy cards. I hope that you can join me next Saturday and through the week. I will go back and do a draw of prize for someone who created something and posted it to this group from from the previous week have a go at making these if you have any questions feel free to ask in this video uh, you can also message me privately otherwise as always stay safe keep crafting and bye for now